My name is Dr. Richard Gardner from Columbus State University, and this is a Muskogee County School District podcast. The Creek Indians and the Trail of Tears. Prior to the coming of Europeans into the Chattahoochee Valley, this was the location of two very important Indian capitals called Casita and Coweta. These were the centers of Indian tribes known as Muskogees. The English called them the Creek Indians. The rocks and the rapids behind me were called Coweta Falls and are now overlooked by the city of Columbus, Georgia. These rocks and rapids were considered sacred by the Muscogee Indians and they developed a mythology about the creatures that lived in these rocks. The most formidable creature in their mythology was known as the Thai snake. A half snake, half alligator that would come up from the underworld and suck you down. They also talked of the trickster rabbit and the tar baby. Later in Georgia history, a man named Joel Chandler Harris would write about these myths as well as some slave myths and he called them the Uncle Remus stories that would later be turned into a movie called The Song of the South by Walt Disney. Song of the South begins with a very familiar song, Zippity Doodah. Zippity Doodah, Zippity A. We're standing here near Columbus, Georgia, in the footsteps of General James Oglethorpe, the founder of the English colony of Georgia. Oglethorpe came here to meet with the Muscogee Indians, also called the Creek Indians, in 1739. He crossed the Chattahoochee River right here behind me. The bridge that you now see is called the Oglethorpe Bridge, and of course it wasn't here in 1739 when he crossed. Oglethorpe went over and met with the Muscogees at their capital, Coweta, and there he tried to talk them into a treaty of peace. They in fact did sign the Treaty of Coweta, which was a negotiation of non-interference between the whites and the Indians. It also committed the Indians to not side with the Spanish who had settled to the south of here in the colony of Florida. After the American Revolution, many more Europeans came to the Chattahoochee Valley. And this created tremendous conflict between the Muscogee Indians and the white people who were beginning to settle here. There were a series of wars called the Creek Wars at this time. And this fort behind me called Fort Mitchell was established here by the white settlers. In 1832, the representative of President Jackson, John Crowell, gathered the Muscogee chiefs here at this fort and told them that the Treaty of Casita, which was signed in 1832, meant that they would have to either become full United States citizens or relocate west of the Mississippi. The removal of the Muscogee or the Creek Indians from this area to west of the Mississippi under the presidency of Andrew Jackson is known as the Trail of Tears. The Muscogee or the Creek Indians were ordered to leave the Chattahoochee Valley and be marched all the way to Indian Territory west of the Mississippi River in present-day Oklahoma. This monument represents the beginning of that march called the Trail of Tears and this memorial is located here in the Chattahoochee Valley near Fort Mitchell where the entire trail began. Some of the Creek Indians who were ordered to get on the Trail of Tears toward Oklahoma decided instead to stay here and to resist. A village called Roanoke in Georgia was massacred by these band of Indians and they also attacked a, a postal stagecoach that came through these parts. When President Jackson heard of these attacks, he was outraged. I've just got a letter by mail telling me the alarming state of things in Columbus. In the name of God, how big a place is Columbus? Why don't they turn out in force and drive the Indians back? Indeed, some of the Indians who were responsible for the massacres and the attacks were captured by the white settlers. 
they were put on trial and they were brought here to this spot in 1836 where six of the Indians were hanged. According to this plaque, eyewitnesses said that the Indians died bravely. In the end, the remainder of the Muscogee Indians did in fact get on the Trail of Tears and go out to the Indian Territory west of the Mississippi, now known as Oklahoma. Many of the descendants of the Muscogee Indians now live in Oklahoma. Back in the 1970s, a singer named Merle Haggard popularized a saying, I'm proud to be an Okie from Muscogee, a place in Oklahoma. One of the most famous living Muscogee Indians is a singer named Carrie Underwood, famous for country music and popular songs. My name is Dr. Richard Gardner from Columbus State University, and this has been another Muscogee County School District podcast, The Creek Indians and the Trail of Tears.